Have you ever welded anything with uh, zip ties and string? I have. All right, this isn't a typical build video for me. This is me shooting the video after I've completed the project, and uh, I can tell you it worked. <laughs> um, but um, the video process didn't really pan out this last time. I, I had trouble uh, setting things up. Mostly I had trouble just uh, figuring out how to do things, and it was a lot of me standing around looking stupid. Um, so uh, I didn't, I, I'm not going to show it. I'm just going to show you what I built. This is my crucible tongs. And uh, I know some people were saying, well, I can't, you know, that would actually work. Well, the idea is you can uh, open it up and you see how, uh, if I open up, especially the bottom half, the, it, it gets wider and then if I drop it down, I can close it up and, um, and lock it down. So let me just show you the pieces that I've got here and then we'll go over to the, I'll go over to the, the the foundry furnace and show you why it is the way it is. Now I started off thinking I would build uh, two halves basically like this. Uh, one here and one over here. Well that didn't uh, work out because my crucible is so big inside my foundry that I couldn't get two of those around. So what I ended up doing was taking uh, just a flat bar right here. This is piece I bend it. You can see it's got a couple of bins in it um, to better shape, uh, better fit the crucible. And uh, I got that on there. The um, let me take it apart. I've got a I've got a nail in here for the hinge. I'll rivet that over at some point. Um, but let me take it apart and just show you how it goes together here. Uh, the idea is okay. As I mentioned, you have one piece, and this is actually supposed to be the, uh, I guess the stationary piece, right? This would be the piece that I'm going to end up holding on to that when I pour, uh, it's going to pour, can I do this? You can see it. It'll pour um, quite easily. I've got a nice handle out here on the side. And I can get over to the side and get away from the burning hot metal and pour it. So that was one of my goals was to do that. Now, um, that said, I had to put together what I'm considering the movable half, and uh, that's this piece here. This piece is just basically some uh, quarter-inch flat, uh, quarter-inch um, plate actually, or probably uh, because I took, I ended up cutting these strips out of a piece of metal, a larger piece of metal, um, and they're shaped. I put them in the forge. I shaped them up to to fit my crucible a little bit better. Uh, you'll notice. If you look carefully, that this one is actually welded to the bottom plate, and this one is actually welded flush to the top. And the reason for that is my crucible comes down. And so I just thought, rather than bending this piece up, I'll just go ahead and weld that on the inside so that better fits the shape of my crucible like that. Now, a uh, couple of pieces of eighth inch plate. Um, or sheet, I know it's an eighth inch of sheet, but above that's plate, I don't know, uh, that are just welded to the side of this of this half inch uh, round. And then I drilled, as you can see right there, a hole through it uh, that that nail was through. So now what happens is this piece The, the immovable side goes in through goes in and rests in there. I added these pieces here um, just as a way to keep the whole thing from, you know, getting all weird on me, getting, you know, doing all kinds of stuff, funny movement that I didn't want. So they're basically there just as, as, as guides to keep, keep things, um, keep things right. Let me show you this too. This is a mistake that happened. Uh, I thought I was being careful and I thought I was being smart, but you'll notice this has got a, uh, it's got a little bit of a camphor to it. And the reason being is when I put this thing together the first time and I drilled the hole, 
I realized that these two pieces were too close together. And when as soon as I would open it up, hold it up where you can see it. As soon as I would open it up, the ends down here, get in there. The ends right down here started, they basically hit and bound up. And so I wasn't able to get the dumb thing open. So I had to take it apart, grind that off and um, make it so I could get it to work. All right, let's get this thing back together. Uh, then I went ahead, I, you know, I'm thinking about putting a wrap around here, some kind of a, uh, a clamp that would just sit on here, almost like a ring that would come up along here and hold this in place when it's when I'm lifting with it. Um, but as it is, you have to hold on to the whole thing anyway. And so I haven't found that to be an issue yet, me holding on versus it just inadvertently opening up and dropping my crucible. These two pieces down here at the back are again are just to just to help me guide it in, just to make sure that it's not getting you know, all squirrely out here at the back end. I debated this angle here. Uh, you'll notice that it is pretty much perpendicular, wherever the camera is, perpendicular with the, um, the, the clamping mechanism. And I thought about that. I thought, well, do I want it cocked forward a little bit? Or, you know, this doesn't seem actual great here. But it, it turns out that this actually is very comfortable here. And when I go to pour things, uh, it'll be a, wherever it is, when I go to pour things like that, you'll see, I mean, it's just real easy and it's off to the side. So let's move over to the, the uh, furnace and I'll show you the issues I ran into with the furnace and the crucible and then also how this thing works. This is my furnace. Uh, I've got three other videos. If you want to see things like cutting metal and welding and sparks and cool stuff like that, you can go watch those videos. <laughs> They're not here. So let's open this up. I'll show you the crucible. There's the crucible inside the furnace. And you can see there isn't a ton of room around this dumb thing. I mean, it's pretty darn tight in there. It's, I've got maybe a half an inch, um, not a lot. So when I started welding up this, um, uh, these clamps, this clamp or this, you know, these tongs, uh, it, really, it really hampered me. And I was told, and I believe it now, I didn't believe it at the time because I, you know, I knew I, I've never done this before, so obviously I knew better. But um, you should really kind of get the crucible first and build the, found, the furnace around it to make sure you've got plenty of room. Know how big your crucible is going to be before you go and put, you know, all this together. Now I hope this isn't going to be a problem. I'm going to actually fire it up tomorrow night, and we're going to try to melt some aluminum. And just see how it works but the flame in there is pretty darn tight obviously uh, I don't know how I don't know what's gonna happen so we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot tomorrow night and just see All right, let's get these ah, here's my crucible tongs so basically what you do is you have to open it up uh, to get to get around the crucible and it's pretty darn tight as you can see. I mean, I have to sort of move things around because that bottom ring is actually smaller than the top of the crucible. There we go. And as a result, it doesn't want to cruise past it. But there it is, it's clamped in there. Oh, you can't see it. There it is, clamped in there. Let me show you, here it is. You know, I can pour uh, without any difficulty now. It's I mean, very easy and I'm way off to the side. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I think that, uh, you know, I can actually set this thing back down in here and get it out of here easier than it went in. But that's pretty much it. That's how they work. I'm, I think they're going to be okay. I think the, I'm just concerned about the distance I've got now. So anyway, well, there you go. My version of crucible tongs. They uh, kind of look like my Frankenstein. I call them my Franken tongs. Maybe they come kind of medieval like helmet thing. If I could put that on my head, I could go into battle as a knight. <laughs> Have a great day. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, go ahead and click the thumbs up button down below. It really does help. 
If you'd like to be notified when we publish new content, go ahead and click my channel icon to subscribe. And finally, while you're here, take some time to check out some of our other videos. Have a great day and get out there and do something new today.